Okay, good evening once again to everyone. Um, someone requested for how to do columns like this on Archicad. I hope this image is very clear. Okay, um, I'll be referencing it while I produce it. And please, I would not spend too much time on this. I want to focus on the base, the column itself, and then the top and I'm going to ignore the rest of the design. Uh, to do that, first things first, I am going to... Um, okay. First things first, I'm going to start with that base. I'm going to create a profile. So I'm going to select the profile manager and select edit. And then I start to sketch out the profile. So I'm going to have this go in this direction, say about 100 millimeters, and then come up by an inch, 25, and then go in by 50, come up by 25 once again, go in by 25 once again, then up by 750. Uh, I said up, I went down, 750. Okay, and then I am going to go in this direction by 1.5 meters. Uh, I think I have done a bit too much. Okay, so I'm also going to take this, duplicate it, and create the copy to land here, trim this off, and uh, I'm going to mirror this to the top. Please take note that what I'm doing right now is just an approximation. It's not supposed to be like exactly what you have there in the image because I don't have the dimensions for that. Alright, so I'm going to fill this in and I'm going to set the material that I'm filling it in to be a filler, a generic internal filler, and I'm going to save it with um, pins rather than walls and say save. So I can call this base uh, my cap blocks is on base all right so now that i have this next thing i want to do is go to the floor plan and select the beam change is to base make sure that this is at zero level i don't think i should be teaching how to draw the steps we had there and then i'm going to draw out that shape so 600 millimeters this way one five this way another 600 this way and i finally close it up here then i'm going to duplicate this and i'm going to um, send this one to be some seven five meters away that's 7.5 meters rather and once i go to the 3d after it comes up i have something like this so i said it's not like exact but really close observe that it's hollow here and we are supposed to feel that to do that i'm going to utilize the slab tool so i'm going to draw a slab here i'm also going to draw another slab over here i can check them out on the 3d again and most likely they'll be kicking out under that wasn't the intention but it was expected so i'm going to select these and i'm going to raise the height up so that it's just going to match with the top where is everything so it's going to match with the top of this item and then we have something like this which is not bad but next comes the columns so how do i get the columns done well the truth is i'm not going to use the column to the reason why I'm not going to use the column tool is not because of it's the wrong tool. It's because of the fact that Akikad has already created a faster alternative. So I'm going to enter the object library here and I'm going to search for column. Alright, so there is this set of architectural columns that we have here. The Doric ones specifically represents what you have in that design. So I'll be looking at it from an elevational view so that any edits I'm making would be indicated uh, i could rather use this than the doric the reason is because there's no 
room to change any dimensions as opposed to working with this. So I'm still choosing the Doric Ornamenta or rather than the Toscan which you would see appears differently and then the Ionic which you can also see appears differently. So we are staying with the Doric column. Then I don't want any floating. The floating is these lines we see on the body of the column. I don't want that. I don't want an emphasis as well. What that is, is basically the fact that it's gradually going to what's the word, like change direction somewhere along its height. You can observe that from these previews if you look at them closely. So I also don't want another base. I don't want a pedestal because, okay, I can think I can have a base but no pedestal. The primary reason for that being that they already, I already made a base earlier. So I said this was going to go out. All right, so for the placement, you need to verify if it's something that will be freestanding or if it's going to be in a corner or just on a wall or partially cut. For the number of facets, I'm going to take this to like 60. Now, I might be wondering, what does that do? Well, I'll drop it at 4, first of all. And when I drop it at 4 and I click OK and place it here, we see a circle. And as I said, this is still very much editable. And when we come over here, where is it? Is it on? OK, it's on a hidden layer, the layer I had named Fire for the previous video. All right, so now you can see that what we have here is actually a square. Why it's a square is that Akikad never draws perfect circles. No, it really draws polygons with high num large number of faces, of which the minimum is three as well. So if I change this to three, you can see that it's going to be much more triangular now. And we don't want something like that. So wants a really large number i think 36 will be okay the larger it is the more processing power it takes from your pc as well and with this you see we have something that feels much more like a circle truth be told it's not actually a circle all right so let's get back to editing the parameters so i'm going to click on this here and then for the width of the button i'm going to use 500 millimeters for now they say there's a problem with the script because by the scripts and for those of us who don't understand what the script is a lot of these pro, um, objects are written with code it's the code is gdl graph um, graphical description language or descriptive language i'm not sure which of the two it is anymore but it's what our keycard objects are typically written with and so when you see this error, you are not supposed to be scared. If you don't know the cause, then just change what you did. In this case, I'm going to also make this 500 and we'll see that the error would go away. All right, so for the height, I'm going to reduce this height to about six meters. All right, and now we have something much more like this. And then I could now come to the materials and everyone knows how to navigate this area. So I'm not going to spend any time on it. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to raise this so that it's going to settle on top of the base. That's the main reason the base was created in the first place. All right, so we have this now. And there were two each. And I'm going to retain that. So I'm going to like bring this over here. Then create a copy of it here then i'm just going to duplicate and place the other one over here and then we have something like this it's not exactly what you asked for but i believe with the use of concrete and um, sorry complex profile for your concrete fascia if you watch the video where i did this you should know how to do what comes above here as for the ceiling make use of a slab and i guess that should be all. If you still have further questions regarding how to make this specific kind of column, you know how to reach out to me. I am always ready to answer. Alright, so expect this on the channel hopefully within the next few minutes. Bye for now.